Dun 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 dun. Hello, today we're gonna search up this question over here. Dun dun dun. Da -da -da -da. Why? Because I watched Aquaman with my family a couple weeks ago and I wanted to know if fish people were real. Because fish people. So we're gonna take another 10 minutes to find some answers. Ready, set, go! What is the history of Atlantis? Plato told the story of Atlantis around 360 BC. The founders of Atlantis, he said, were half god and half human. There are theories about where Atlantis was. It's either in the Mediterranean, off the coast of Spain, or even under what is now Antarctica. Plato said Atlantis existed about 9,000 years before his own time. The stories of Atlantis were told before Plato, but apparently Plato is the first one to actually document it. Plato said that the story was also told by poets, priests, and other people. Was Atlantis based on real events? There's an ocean explorer called Robert Ballard who apparently says that the legend of Atlantis is possible. The reason why he said Atlantis might be possible was because of cataclysmic floods and volcanic explosions throughout history. Apparently, 3,600 years ago, a giant volcano eruption occurred on the island of Santorini in the Aegean Sea near Greece. Apparently, there's some guy named Rom. Rom thinks that Plato created the story of Atlantis to convey philosophical theories. The legend of Atlantis is a story about moral, spiritual people who lived in a highly advanced utopian civilization, but they became super greedy and corrupt. That's super sad. What is the summary of the Atlantis story? This one's from the History Channel. Plato describes it as a powerful advanced kingdom that sank in a night and a day into the ocean around 3600 BC. Apparently the narrator of the story is Critias? That's like a dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Apparently Atlantis is larger than Libya and Asia Minor put together. Atlantis is apparently protected by the god Poseidon, who made his son Atlas king. Apparently Atlantis' armies conquered Africa, as far as Egypt and Europe as far as... How do you even say that? Tai... 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 Tarhania? What is Tarhania? Ituria, a kingdom in Italy that existed from 1801 to 1807. I guess it's also called Eteria? How to pronounce t t t that word? Terranian Oh, it's Terranian! Okay, back to Atlantis. In 1679, a Swedish scientist called Olaus Rudbeck published Atland. Apparently, it's to prove that Sweden was the original site of Atlantis. I guess they were trying to prove that all human languages came from Swedish? Apparently, the narrator Critias said that the story of Atlantis came from his grandfather who then heard it from a state salesman called Solon, who then learned it from an Egyptian priest. That was 9,000 years ago. How was Aquaman inspired by Atlantis? Uh, it doesn't say. It just said that they wanted to base Aquaman off of Atlantis. Who created Aquaman? Paul Norris, Mort Weisinger, Kurt Busiek, and Jack Gleese made Aquaman? What other references have Atlantis? Oh shoot! Time's up! So I didn't really find that much. I feel like a lot of the articles were based off of the Discovery Channel and the History Channel. So I'll put the links below so you can read some more. Maybe I'll do another episode. So I guess that's it. Hopefully you all learned your fun fact of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! Dun 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 hello Jerry <laughs>